Okay guys, this calls for a video and I can't help it. This is just one of those moments when I was like, I gotta make a video about this. I just hit watermelon jackpot. I was walking, I was driving down the road, a road that I never go on. I never, I went the wrong way. It was like a total mistake. Like I took the wrong road by mistake. And I was like running late to the post office. And I was like, this is terrible. This is terrible. Like I'm gonna miss the post office. Like I've been running behind. My daughter's been in town. Oh my gosh, I had to feed the fam, send out all these items, pay all these bills. And hey, what's up, y'all? What y'all doing? I just hit watermelon heaven. Oh, really? I'm not even looking in my back seat. Oh, I see, I see that. oh. hey, y'all have a good one. Okay, so here we are. And I just, I just hit watermelon heaven. <laughs> you guys, I, I just got to share this with the world. You know what I'm saying? Check it out, guys. I just bought, I just bought $80 worth of watermelons. But guys, these aren't just any watermelons. These are not just any watermelons. These watermelons came from a garden where a man a man, a sweet little old man, he grew these watermelon. And he's from, he is from this area and he went and picks them from the patch and he comes out and sells them. They don't have any pesticides on them. They're like no sprays, nothing, all natural. And I just can't believe it. Like. I literally cannot believe this is happening to me. I feel so blessed and I'm not even supposed to be on my phone. So I had to make this video and I wanted to share with you guys that this is the best thing that ever happened to me. Like, I'm not kidding. I prayed about this. I was praying about watermelon and finding some watermelon. Like, this is unbelievable. Like, I'm so happy. I'm fruit fasting right now. So this is like a really, 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 really big deal that this happened to me. So I just can't believe it. This is like confirmation. I was like, should I go on with my fruit fast? I didn't know. And I ate a salad last night. And like, this is total confirmation from God. Like, I seek the Lord this morning. I've been going through some rough stuff. Like, but God has been showing me things through my fruit fast. Like, things about my family. Things that I would have missed. But because my mind is so clear and I'm on the fruit. And I'm on this, guys, it's this is different. It's a different vibe. It's a totally different vibe when you're doing all fruit. Like it's a vibration, a total different thing. And your connection to God is the most important thing on your journey ever. Like to be able to do this, to stay faithful to myself in this fast, fast I've had to repeatedly go to God. Like, like there's no doubt that this is where it's at, you guys. Like, no kidding. I am just so stoked. God is so good to me. And I'm so thankful because he loves me. And he wants me to know it, even though I've had some major heartbreaks lately. Like, it's been rough, you guys. 
but he wants me to know that I have him and that he is the most important thing to be praising the praising about is him and him alone not the watermelon not anything it's just him he is the one and I just can't even believe it seriously like such a blessing and I'm not gonna share with you like all the bad stuff that's been coming down the pipes I found out some stuff, you know, and I, it's personal and it's just too deep and we don't need to go there. I mean, I don't want to, you know, ruin my situation with family and stuff like that, but it's been trying. It's been very trying and I'm just like, I worked so hard and people let you down they just let you down they do they let you down they're people people suck and I suck I'm just gonna be honest I've screwed up I've screwed up over and over and over again but God is always there and he knows it he knows we were gonna screw up before we screwed up he knew we were going to do what we were going to do before we did it. He, and he, we knew it. Like, that's how... And he loves us anyway. And then he gives us the love to love others. When we can't anymore. When we didn't even think it was possible to love anybody anymore. And he allows us to do it. He gives us the love. That's what is so amazing. And then he gives us this. And you know what the guy said? You know what he said? When I tasted the watermelon, I was like, he goes, I, I put it in my mouth and I was like, this is, and he said, heaven. And I was like, this is heaven. Bringing the kingdom down. This is heaven on earth. God right now thank you God and thank you everybody for listening I hope you have a wonderful super duper blessed day